Hi guys and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. And this video is a top five and it is myths about exercising while menstruating. Myth number one is uh, you need to avoid, uh, avoid inversions and or rigorous workouts. Inversions like the downward dog or crow pose have no effect on the intensity and or length of your period and they'll not make your period last any longer and neither will rigorous workouts. The same rules apply as always. Stay properly hydrated and energized and eat healthily and properly. Myth number two is that um, your blood will attract wildlife like sharks and bears. I've gone over this in another um, video, top five myths about uh, top five outdoor camping myths. However, um, stop this nonsense. <laughs> you are not tasted sharks, they cannot smell your menstrual blood, and unless they're really, really close, as in you can see them in your face, um, you could literally cut yourself and bleed directly into the water and they still do not care. Number Myth number three, my heavy flow will make me pass out if I exercise. Uh, anemia can occur when your body is unable to produce enough red blood cells to compensate for the loss of blood and this includes when you menstruate but it is not exclusive to menstruation. Uh, this can also be known as iron deficiency and it can cause fatigue, energy deficiency and exhaustion. Aside from uh, definitely seek medical advice um, and go to your GP and get testing done like blood tests and take appropriate medication if and when necessary. Um, essentially appropriate medication, diet and exercise can actually assist with allowing red blood cells to be delivered around your body so adequate exercise is essential essential for how your body processes food and functions and can actually assist you with your iron deficiency rather than encourage its depletion so myth number four is that you feel like curling up with a hot water bottle um, or do not feel like human contact. Uh, bad moods caused by cramping and or fluctuations in estrogen and progesterone, um, as well as migraines, sensitivity to light, heat and temperature can all occur during your menstrual cycle. However, adequate exercise can alleviate a lot of these symptoms as it lowers uh, the stress hormones and also triggers endorphins and serotonin for those good, good feelings. Exercise can also wear you out and assist, in, assist with sleeping patterns and also assist with alleviating those cramps that we were just talking about. Um, last myth, myth number five, is that um, I'm afraid I will leak if I exercise. The menstrual cups um, that fit are the best. They also do not leak when put in uh, properly and you get the right menstrual cup for your body size and shape. Um, there are also menstrual discs and sea sponges um, depending on, what, on what's going to work for you. Um, once you've sorted out your perfect internal protection not only will you not only will you not leak but it will make exercise far far easier. Um, Keep in mind that there is also underwear like Modi Body. Um, I'll link Modi Body down below um, that will cover you if you do not, for whatever reason, want to use internal protection um, or internal protection doesn't work for you. Anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for listening. This was a top five exercise myths video. Any questions or comments, my details are below. You can email me, tweet me, Instagram me or comment beneath this video. Other than that, you guys know what to do. Bye.